research in smart grids is important because uh, because we use smart grids every day for I mean to to provide power to our households uh, to and in the near future for uh, electric cars and many other say um, appliances that we will be using and current systems current power systems well it will be difficult for them to face those challenges so they need to be substantially improved and I think that advantage is working in that direction historically what uh, has been done is uh, uh, we haven't been doing much on the demand side uh, we were uh, traditionally leaving it to do whatever it wants so if you want to use your kettle now you will go and use your kettle and then the supply side would adjust so that you have power to make your tea uh, however with the, the the new type of generations uh, electrical generation like renewables that are intermittent and also with a new type of uh, loads that we have in the system like electric vehicles uh, and, and things like that, this problem becomes more more challenging. So just controlling your generation side is not going to be enough in the future. Uh, so uh, unless we really do something about the demand side as well and try to modify that uh, the way that uh, people and businesses, industry um, use electricity, uh, we, we won't be able to really efficiently manage the, the, the power system. The main idea behind my research is to transmit data using power lines that already exist in our society. So if this happens to be a huge success, like the data transmission through power lines is a huge success, then you don't need to worry about installing different towers, you don't need to worry about the coverage, you don't need to about worry about investing a lot of money in any new technology, because power lines are already there. Like you can see the power lines from your room to the grids that you have in the road, in the highway. So I believe that it will, be, it will create a huge impact uh, based on the results that we have. A smart grid uh, is a very hot topic nowadays, so uh, the dissemination of uh, both theoretical and simulation results are of the high interest, uh, high interest of the, both the research community and the industrial domain. So generally, if you talk about people uh, uh, for smart grid, uh, they will tell you that they expect uh, uh, an innovation, a new uh, power grid that uh, is basically adapted to their needs. We have a lot of renewable energy being integrated into the electricity network now. So it happens on the supply side as well as the demand side. Generally, the project advances well. Uh, the research is ongoing and developing uh, in a stable manner. Uh, this one and a half year. The overall impression about the project so far is very good, in my opinion. Uh, talking about the supervisors that I have, talking about the opportunities that I had doing my secondments in Austria with Professor Tonello and so on. Uh, in total, the impression is quite good, and I'm happy that I got this opportunity to be a part of a European project like this one. So what I really like is the chance to collaborate with people from very different backgrounds and countries the possibility to travel and visit different institutions and being put in touch with many different domains, communication, power systems, control and a lot of interaction between all of those domains which makes it really, really very interesting and enlightening. The Choosing the candidates was interesting because this funding that we have is under the title Marie Curie funding and a requirement of that is that people must move around. So every researcher who is here, um, they have had to go from one country to another. I believe that uh, this will definitely help me to enhance my career in the near future, let's say, after my PhD. I like the industry because it's, it allows me to have an impact on things that are happening in the real world. From my perspective, I would like to contribute to that ongoing transition rather than a, 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 a technology that would be implemented 10 years later. We did a lot of advertising and I think we've been lucky with the students that we recruited that they're all very good and um, 
I think the nice thing is that in this project we have meetings every few months so they get to know each other and to work together and you know for me it's been a, a fun project as we are really working in training the students so we want to train them to be the future engineers or the future scientists you know who will be working. I think it's a very important event to bring together the smart grids, let's say power grid uh, people with the ICT people. You see this in many other industries that there's a lack of uh, cooperation between different sectors. Uh, it's a lack of mutual understanding and uh, such projects I think are the utmost important uh, and should be, let's say, maintained by much more, by much more many people sponsored by the European Commission. So we see it everywhere, smart grids, connected cars, e-health, um, and it takes a long time to have this uh, mutual understanding. And then the next step would be also how to develop the business. So uh, how to bring together the different companies to define priorities for standards, to develop the ecosystem. And the idea is to try and make uh, the power grids, the electricity networks that supply our electricity um, more stable, more energy efficient uh, in future. Uh, this group is doing uh, very interesting work. Uh, it's a relevant work. It's relevant for the future of the grid. It's also relevant because it brings different expertise from different groups, different countries, and uh, therefore the technical aspects of what they are doing, the scientific aspect is, is very, very interesting and very important. The other part of the uh, impression that I have about this event is that they are bringing in students, uh, future educators, and they are expanding their horizons, if you will, and uh, their understanding that the teamwork and uh, multidisciplinary teams are needed in the future to solve complex problems of the electricity grid. I'm focusing on how the energy is used for heating in houses. So the company with which I work is controlling heat pumps in individual houses in order to make energy savings, reducing the costs of heating and increasing the comfort of people while using more renewable energy. My research topic uh, involves around the integration of uh, smart grid services in public LTE cellular uh, networks. Uh, so it's a rather broad area. Uh, but uh, specifically, I'm mostly focused on the design of novel medium access control techniques for the integration of uh, this kind of smart grid traffic. As part of the Advantage project, I'm based with a company called Flexitricity. That's one of the industrial partners. And uh, uh, we look at uh, demand response in the industrial and uh, commercial sector, trying to see how uh, uh, energy sites can balance the electricity grid in UK. Right now I'm dealing with the design of power line communication systems for, for the smart grid application. So basically what I'm doing is I'm a physical layer guy where I do uh, signal processing stuff so that the data from point A to point B can be transmitted reliably so that there is no loss of data between transmitting between these two points. Uh, so this is the fourth uh, training event of the Advantage project. Uh, we had uh, three events before. First one was in Edinburgh, the coordinating institution. Then we had one in Olborg in Denmark. Uh, we had one in Barcelona uh, like half a year ago. And this is the final one. In these training events, we typically bring like the major researchers or industrial speakers from, from the field of smart grid and uh, they present their talks to the students, to PhD students in the project. Next event is going to be in London for this project and uh, it's now more, these training events are becoming more like conference events where they really present their final results. <laughs>